Welcome to Demolition Ranch. We are here. I, I lost my voice. Uh, if you saw yesterday's um, Off the Ranch video, we were vlogging and gambling, and I stayed out really late, made some money. The video is actually interesting, uh, so go check it out. Link in the description. But we're today at Shot Show, and so there's gonna be a lot of guns in this video, so I'm gonna put it on this channel, on the Demo Ranch channel. But it's gonna be sort of a vlog video. We are not shooting guns today. No experiments. No explosions. Click off now if you need explosions, because today it's gonna be a vlog. We're gonna be walking and talking and looking at guns. You guys in? So we're over at the Armored Republic AR500 booth. All those shirts came from Bunker Branding. We printed all those green shirts. Also, this dude, fully armored up. I need that in my life. Hey, uh, David, do we have a fully armored suit in the budget? Maybe not this year. We just won't check the budget. We'll just do it. Shot Show 2020. All right, let's do this. 380, and then we have a 9 millimeter that's also coming out. Show it folded up, so it's the size of a cell phone. Yep, so it's about the size. So like I have an iPhone 8. Jeez. About that, so have it in your pocket. Whoa. Oh my gosh. And so it has two shots? Two shots, yeah. So as you're firing, it's already packing the next one. So two shot Darren. Crazy. That's 380? Yeah, that's 380, and then the 9 millimeter comes out later this year. Call me when you get a 44 mag. That's all I shoot. Well, how about a 50 cal? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that's awesome. So you can break it off like that. So it has a little, holster, pull out and little shoot cell phone right holster. <laughs> Did it fold in that? So it holds like a cell phone? Yeah. Oh wow, that is and crazy. Can go that way or the other way? Or like that? And left or right? No one would ever think that was a gun. This is a prototype strip, quick yeah. load. It's definitely so. I mean, this is coming. This always got to come by the F1 firearms booth because they make the slickest ARs at Shot Show. Look at this thing. Look at that camo. It's like matte anodized camo in blue in whatever color you want and then they also just released new pistols over here so these are all like glock compatible pistols they take glock mags but they have aluminum lowers here regular glocks have plastic lowers not these check that out so they make all this stuff in-house so cool and i actually don't have one of these yet hmm. and they also can get as blinged out as you want. America. That is a demo ranch hat right there. Old school one. I talked to him, he was super nice. And I uh, also saw a demo ranch shirt earlier. Talked to that guy, super nice. If I see anybody with my merch, I'm gonna talk to him because that's super cool. Like they just wear my shirt in the SHOT Show. I love it. This is main floor of SHOT Show where all the booths are like million dollar booths and it's freaking crazy. I mean, look at that. Look how big that is. They like <clears throat> spend tons of money, set up these booths like weeks in advance and they leave them up here for four days and they tear them all down. It still blows my mind that marketing is that important. Steven, are you ready for your mind to be blown? We're at the Keltec booth. Show him. New sub 2000 called the integrated sub. Integrated suppressor? Into, yeah, integrated <laughs> suppressor on it. What's it called? Sub CQB? Yeah, the sub CQB. Dude. Gosh. Yep, just drop it right in there. Close the tab. How insane is that? set, ready to go. God. That's quiet. Yeah, I bet. You all did it. You all did it. How neat is that? So good. The rotating barrel, that's super smart. It still breaks the thing. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, you put this up so you want So this is the KSG Compact now, and it's a short barrel shotgun. Super tiny barrel, holds five and five, plus one in the chamber, so 11 rounds in this itty bitty shotgun package. Dude, I need that. So there's the regular KSG right there, so you can see it's, you know, actually goes right there. It's about five inches shorter than a regular KSG. Very tiny. You're literally the reason why I came here. Hey, dude. You're literally the reason why I came to SHOT Show today. I like your shirt. I like your hat. I'm wearing the same hat, actually. <laughs> this is actually the second one I had to buy. Nice. Because my puppy ate <laughs> the back. 
<laughs> well, dude, thank you. I appreciate it. Very nice meeting you. Yeah, let's do it. I'm here at the Serbu Firearms booth. Check out Serbu. We got some Serbu guns. This is Mark Serbu's daughter, Val, aka 50 Cal Val. And they just told me something that I think is really interesting. Can you tell this story? So, because of Matt and the video he made with our 50 Cal. You gotta talk loud. I made a video with that 50 Cal. Yeah, okay. I was watching that video. And you shout out to Valerie channel. Yeah, I shout out because Val was making them. Yes. And, and then I subscribed to Valerie's channel. You guys had never met. You thought she was cute on, on when you looked at her videos. Yeah. And Snapchat. I started Snapchatting her and now we're married, right? Y'all yeah. are married because you saw one of my videos where I mentioned her name yes. because she built me a rifle. Yes. See, Demolition Ranch is bringing people together. <laughs> and he's South African too. Just yeah. Out of town. Crazy. Florida yeah. to South Africa. How, yeah. how long have you been married? Uh, October. So, only a few months. How long do you think it's going to last? <laughs> All right. Asking the important questions. Congratulations, guys. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty funny. I just wanted to tell you guys that story because that was awesome. Difficult one. So, in reality, you can use the site to aim. Okay. Oh. Or in some game mode, then you can have a laser pointer. All right. This is the first I've heard about this. It looks like they may have a Ruger chambered in 5.7 by 28. And I'm at the Ruger booth, so I gotta figure this out. Hey, guy, dude, are the barrels on the slow? So this is a Ruger 5.7. It says 20, but it, 20, oh, plus, 20 plus one. It says on the screen. Yeah, that's what the that's what the 5.7s are. So FN makes an FN 5.7. Ruger seems like they would get in trouble by calling this the Ruger 5.7, but maybe it's Ruger 57. But uh, this shoots it very fast. Get around. And now I really want this. So I have a FN 5.7 and I have a FN PS90 that are chambered in this round. Oh, I also have a CMMG AR chambered in this round. This, I think, is the first other, like, little handgun that I've ever seen chambered in this, which is super cool. I'm in. I want one. This thing is also much smaller width-wise. It's skinnier than the 5.7, I think. And it feels less plasticky. I mean, it's still plastic, but... I'm kind of excited about that. A competitor in the 5.7 game. Indoor shooting range? Everybody says, you know what the mansion needs is a little indoor shooting range. I think that actually may not be a real gun range, I'm not sure, but there were real gun ranges here. And you know what would be cool is a real gun range in the house. I would use that every day. I wake up, brush my teeth, shoot about 400 rounds while my chef and butler made me omelets. Go eat breakfast. That's my perfect life. I'm just describing my perfect life. Nellie's, I likey. It's funny thinking about the way the channel has changed since I first came to SHOT Show like five years ago. When I first came, I really wanted a Benelli M4 shotgun. Uh, it was like one of the things I wanted so bad and I just went to their booth and walked through all their Benelli shotguns and I was just thinking, like, God, I just want one of these someday. And I finally went and bought one and now I have a Benelli M4 shotgun. I have a Benelli M2 shotgun also. That, that Benelli is just so, so cool. And it's cool to walk through all these booths, all these guns, and for people like me, who lust after all these guns, it's cool to like see the ones that I remember wanting so bad and now having my safe, but now then I see some new one that I'm like, I need to have that. And maybe in five more years, I'll have everything in here. It's probably, probably not gonna happen. I know one girl who will shut that down. Speaking of guns that someday I want to own, I just found the most coveted of guns. The high point, the best gun the world has ever 
scene. Could use one of those, you know? A little carry gun? That's what I'm thinking. Is that the Yeet Cannon? The High Point Yeet Cannon. Dang. You know, it's hard to just see like immense beauty in the palm of your hands, but I have it here. It's really greasy too. I think a lot of people have touched this today. How do you release this song? I don't know. You gotta drop the magazine. People are apparently still making digi camo. That's a thing. God, this is the heaviest gun ever. So heavy. Dude, look at that compensator. <laughs> That's funny. Is that a 9? Is that a 45? That's a 9. It's a 9. Okay, we're at the Kiapa booth. Um, tell me about the CPR 9. So this is new for this year. It's a pistol, obviously. Pistol, 9mm. It uh, has proprietary magazine. Uh, 18 rounds or 30 rounds. Crazy. Uh, unique so 30 design. rounds stick out? Uh, a little bit, yeah. A little bit? Uh, the unique design about the magazine is that it loads from the side as opposed to the top. So it reduces like jams and really? reliability. Crazy. Uh, very cool. It. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Clear magazines. Very neat. Okay, go on. Um, collapsible arm brace. Yep. You know, it meets the US laws. Right. Uh, everything's reversible almost. Uh, the safety selector switch, magazine release, bolt, uh, bolt release. Uh, everything's reversible for left handed. Yep. Um, it does have fiber optic sights embedded in the uh, Picatinny rail here. Yeah. It will also come with flip-up sights in the box and a sling. Uh, easy takedown. Uh, just a really fun gun to shoot, man. It looks really fun. And it looks like you might have three positions uh, on there. There is a <laughs> Euro, there's a European version. That's, gotcha. You know, That's cool. Different walls <laughs> over there. So. Very cool, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's the end of SHOT Show for today. I kind of did a terrible job of actually filming for you guys. But we will be back here filming again because SHOT Show continues. Welcome to Demolition Ranch and welcome back to sunny Las Vegas. We haven't lost all of our money yet. We still, we're still in it. We're still in this place. You think we get a copyright strike for this music? I don't know. You ready for SHOT Show? Best day of your life? Oh. <laughs> We're at the AGM booth doing a little meet and greet. This guy shows up wearing the exact same shirt I got. Hey, what's your name? AJ. AJ? AJ. Thank you. What are you beside? Oh, okay. I haven't seen one of these in a while. We have a Butterface shirt. <laughs> the best one. Thanks for coming. What's your name? Justin. Justin. Justin got the old Butterface merch. I love it. so cool to have targets moving like that. Even you gotta admit that's kind of cool. This is Paragon Tactical Booth. That is so neat. They're just totally randomly moving back there. So you'd have like your hostages in the front I guess? Or this kind of look like bad guys too. With bad guys bouncing around behind them. That is cool. So I've said in my off the ranch videos that I got a weird obsession with trailers. This is like an overlanding trailer. And I don't even overland very much. Like, I don't go camping that much, but I've always wanted one of these things. I just can't justify it, because I... I think when our kids get a little older and, like, we do more camping stuff, I would actually use it, but, like, right now they're just little, and we go camping, like, close places, but we don't ever go on, like, any week-long trips because the kids will be super burned out by then. But someday... Someday maybe I'll build me a big overlanding trailer and do some epic trips once my kids are old enough to enjoy it with me. This says grenade machine gun. They put my two favorite things and put them together. Grenades and machine guns. 
This is the ammo can for it. It's like the size of three ammo cans put together. It <laughs> shoots full auto 40 millimeter grenades on the biggest tripod I've ever seen. What? I don't know if you heard Meredith just say, who would ever need that? <laughs> like, that's never stopped us before. Came to look at guns, and I just keep looking at all the, like, off-road trucks. Black Rifle's got this awesome F-150 up in here. Look how cool that is! I think I need to wrap my truck. Not pink. Like a normal color. I think pink is pretty. Like, not a pink color, ideally. HK is making uh, semi-auto MP5s for the U.S. civilian market now, and some SBRs, which is super cool, because I've always wanted like a like an actual HK little submachine gun type gun, so maybe that is coming in the future as well. So I have two Barretts, but this is a 50 BMG that is made by McMillan, and it's a bolt action. The Barretts that I have are the semi-autos, and they're not like super accurate. So I've always wanted like a 50 BMG that is super accurate, and like look at this thing. It's a giant, giant sniper rifle. Probably giantly expensive as well. Kimber Booth, they have this super slick one, Desert Warrior, and it has a threaded barrel. I think I need a 45 chambered 1911 with a threaded barrel. Dang. You feel me? This Corvette was here the first year we came to SHOT Show, and I loved it. I need a C3 Corvette. I need. Need. Well, as you can see, I ended up putting uh, both the SHOT Show days together into one video because like today just wasn't long enough to make a whole video, and so we are actually leaving now to head back to Texas. We miss home. So more of your classic, amazing, just hilarious, videos with your handsome host in Texas. Coming up soon. Thanks for watching Devotion Ranch. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk? Bobby? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Ish.